Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Uh, we have here our second video para sa pagdidiscuss ng different factoring techniques. And this time, we will discuss how to use difference of two squares in factoring polynomials. So, I have here a given polynomial. We have a squared minus b squared. We will be using this pattern para mag-factor out ng polynomials throughout this video. So, as you can see, we have here a squared minus b squared. So, paano ba na natin malalaman if the given polynomial is factorable by this given technique or the difference of two squares? Una, you need to notice whether the two terms are both perfect squares. So, we have here a squared and b squared. So, ang a squared ba at b squared ay parehas perfect square. So, yun yung unang criteria. The second one is dapat meron tayong subtraction sign sa gitna. So, kapag nakita nyo ganun yun, both perfect squares ang ating first term and second term, as well as meron tayong subtraction sign sa gitna, automatic, the given polynomial is factorable by difference of two squares. So, paano ba ginagawa? So, una, kunin yung square root ng the first term, which is a, At yung square root ng first term ay ilalagay mo sa first terms ng dalawang factors. And then, since yung ating sign sa gitna is um, subtraction sign, we will be using different signs sa dalawang factors. Pwede positive and negative. Pwede rin namang negative, positive. How about the second term? Get the square root of the second term. Ang square root ng b squared is b. So, you have here b. Therefore, ito yung pattern natin. So, kailangan lang kasi, alam nyo kung ma-identify kung yung term by perfect square o hindi. So, sa numbers naman, it's, it, it is important for you to know the different perfect square number. Like, 1, um, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on. So, let's go with Without further ado, let's go with examples. I have here five examples. So for the first example, we have x squared minus 16. So basically, you need to know first whether the two terms are perfect square. Yung first term natin, x squared, is a perfect square, as well as the second term, 16. So set up natin yung ating factors. The factors are, lagay mo na natin parenthesis, squared ng x squared is x at yung square root ng 16 is 4. So, pwede nyo gawin, this is positive and this is negative. So, pwede rin naman siyang negative and positive. So, ganun lang mag-factor ng example number 1. Eh, sir, paano naman yung number 2 natin? We have 49 minus b squared. In, uh, don't worry, kahit nauna yung number, as well as na-set niya yung criteria, pwede yun. So, yung 49 natin is a perfect square and b squared natin is a perfect square. Therefore, the factors are square root of 49 is 7, as well as this 7 din to, and then negative, positive, B. These are the factors of item number 2. Now, let's go with item number 3. For item number 3, we have 16x squared minus 25y squared. So, yung bawat terms natin ay nagsama na yung coefficient as well as the variables. So, mag-set up po na tayong dalawang parenthesis. Yan. So, the first term is a perfect square, 16x squared. And then, 25y squared is a per per also a perfect square. So, ang gagawin nyo dito, the square root of 16x squared is 4x. You have here 4x. And then, negative, positive, 5y. 5y. So the factors are the quantity of 4x minus 5y times 4x plus 5y. So we have here number 4 and examine naman yung dalawang variables. So set up tayo yung dalawang parenthesis. Don't worry. This term is a perfect square. The square root of a squared and b squared is ab. So ab, yan yung first term natin. 
minus plus or positive negative 4. That's it. That is the factor. Now for the last one, I have number 5. You have a to the 4th power minus b to the 4th power. Don't worry. Those terms are perfect, both perfect square. So puntahin natin. So you have square root of a to the 4th power or a raised to 4 is a squared. So you have here also a squared. And then for the second term, you have b to the 4th power, that is b squared. And then b squared. So lagyan natin dito minus and plus. But in this case, as you can see, uh, we still have this term. We still have this term. Kung mo notice nyo, we have two terms, which is a perfect square, first term, second term, and you have the subtraction sign, meaning you can still factor out that factor. So to factor out, applying our pattern, the square root of a squared is a. And then the square root of b squared is b. And then you have minus, plus, and then copy this factor times a squared plus b squared. So to finalize the answer, these are the factors of item number 5. So ganun na simple kung paano mag factor ng polynomial using difference of two squares. So kung meron kayong mga question or requested topic to be discussed in this video in our YouTube channel, you can comment down below para magawa natin yung inyong mga request. I, and again, I am Teacher God. Maraming salamat sa inyong support. Bye.